Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Look at the size of this yard. How are we ever going to be able to find the area? We know that to find the area of a rectangle, we can multiply the length and the width. But those numbers are pretty big. Wait a second. Do you remember learning about the distributive property? We used it to break down large numbers to make multiplication easier. I bet we can use the distributive property to find the area of large rectangles. Let's try it out and see if I'm right. First, let's look at an example, though, of using the distributive property to find the area of a smaller rectangle. Okay, the length is 12 inches and the width is 4 inches. Now, you may know your multiples of 12, and that's wonderful if you do. But I want to show you how you can break up a larger number to make finding the area even easier. And I'm going to break up 12 into 10 plus 2. Look at how we now have two rectangles. And we can now find the area of each of the rectangles and then add them together. We know that if the width of this side is 4 inches, then the width of the opposite side is also 4 inches. And 10 multiplied by 4 equals 40. And 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. Well, we can add these two areas together now. 40 plus 8 is 48. The area of the rectangle is 48 squared inches. Hmm, that was much easier and it was a great way to use the distributive property to help you solve a difficult problem. I want to practice this strategy a little bit more. Okay, Tommy is wallpapering his room. The length of the room is 16 feet and the width is 8 feet. So what's the total area that is going to be wallpapered? First, we can see that these are pretty big numbers to multiply. And we probably know our 8 times table, but maybe not our 16s. So let's break the 16 into smaller numbers to make that one easier. Personally, I like working with 10. So let's go for 10 and 6. All right, here we go. Well, that gives us the multiplication equations of 10 multiplied by 8 and 6 multiplied by 8. Okay, 10 multiplied by 8 is 80. Next, 6 multiplied by 8 is 48. And now we just add those together. 80 plus 48 is 128. The area of the room is 128 square feet. Wow, that wasn't very hard at all. What about this one? Peter is pouring concrete to make a driveway. Okay, the length of the driveway is 23 feet. The width of the driveway is 10 feet. What is the total area of the driveway? We know what to do. Split the number 23 into easier numbers to work with. What numbers do you think we should choose? Uh, I think I'd choose 20 and 3. Next, we set up the multiplication problems. 20 multiplied by 10 and 3 multiplied by 10. Let's get straight to it and solve this. 20 multiplied by 10 is 200. 3 multiplied by 10 is 30. Combine them now. 200 plus 30 is 230. So the area that Peter needs to concrete for his driveway is 230 square feet. We're getting pretty good. I think we're ready for a challenge. A baseball field is getting some new grass. And the length of the field is 15 feet, while the width of the field is 12 feet. What is the total area of the field? Okay, two big numbers. Uh, wait a second. Don't you think we can just try breaking them both up? Yeah, let's give it a try. Let's break 15 up into 10 plus 5, and let's break 12 up into 10 plus 2. Wow, we have four sections now. I'm going to add the measurements on the side to help me out. And then I'll put the multiplication problems into the different sections. Okay, so we have 10 multiplied by 10, and we have 5 multiplied by 10. We also have 5 multiplied by 2 and 10 multiplied by 2. Well, let's get multiplying. 10 multiplied by 10 is 100, and 10 multiplied by 2 is 20. 5 multiplied by 10 is 50, and finally, 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. Now, all we have to do is add up those values. 
100 plus 20 is 120. Add 50 more, we get 170. Next, add 10 to get a final answer of 180. The field is 180 square feet. That's a lot of room for baseball. Ooh, remember that large yard at the start of the lesson? Well, I bet we can already find the area of it. We can split the 18 into 10 plus 8, and next we can split the 12 into 10 plus 2. Let's fill in those measurements and make some multiplication problems now. 10 multiplied by 10, 8 multiplied by 10, 2 multiplied by 8, and 2 multiplied by 10. You're doing great! 10 multiplied by 10 equals 100. 8 multiplied by 10 equals 80. 2 multiplied by 8 is 16. And 2 multiplied by 10 is 20. Now it's time to add them up. 100 plus 80 is 180. Add 16 to get 196. Finally, add 20 for a total sum of, drum roll please, 216. Ooh, that's a big yard with an area of 216 square feet. Great job combining what you already learned about the distributive property and applying it to area. Let's quickly sum up what we learned today. You used your knowledge about being able to break apart numbers with the distributive property to help you multiply to find the area of bigger rectangles. I can't wait to see what we'll learn next. See you in the next video.